everybody. We are here live with the Olganator. This is probably like the, the trainer talk that I've been most excited about. Thank I love you. them all, but. Thank you. Reason being, oh, everyone say hi to Olga. Hi. The Olganator. <laughs> kick your butt <laughs> um the reason being is i feel like you probably have the most interesting story yeah we're sure. all interesting but yeah I you am. olga i'm very interesting you are very interesting yeah so where where does your accent come from let's start with that well i came from ukraine okay. odessa, odessa ukraine um so a lot of people don't know that i grew up in the ussr USSR broke it off in 15 republics. Used to be uh, uh, 15 republics altogether called Russia, United Russia. But now they're all 15 separate countries. Yes. And so I remember when that happened. Moment, that was a big deal. Yes, I remember too, actually. How uh, old were you? Uh, so when country broke it off, I want to say I was. it was 1990. Okay. So I want to say it was maybe, I was born in 1975, so 15. That's right. Good math. Yeah. You got this. <laughs> yeah. About. Yeah, I just about. I'm not, don't quote me on dates. I'm very bad with dates. You were about 15. Uh, yeah, I want to say approximately, yeah. Okay. I came to the United States in 1996. Okay. So I came from Ukraine. So you were about 2021. 20, 2021, correct. Okay. I couldn't go to high school. So, uh, and I went to college to learn uh, English, which is a ESL, English Second Language. So I took a couple of courses to learn. In when you were still? No, here, when I came to America. Okay. And my point is, what I'm saying is, like, a, people who go to high school come here before 18 and end up going to high school in America. They lose their accent. Okay. But I didn't lose my accent, even though some people say, oh, she still came in very young, but I couldn't lose my accent because, yeah, once you pass that high school stage, and you couldn't go to high school in America. You kind of stuck with the accent forever. Well, why why would that be important to lose your accent? I mean, it it's is not who you that are. important. Just... But in the beginning, it was like now I speak a little bit better English. Yes. But in the beginning, people would like I don't know what you're saying. Like people like give me looks like I don't know what you're saying, <laughs> and I just want to cry <laughs> and I want to like yeah. So oh, there have been many tears when, when you were to, young. Yeah, when I came right? to America first year, it was a lot of tears yeah. really that's yeah. so sad it is it's hard you come to the country you don't speak the language you have no friends you have no job so what brought you over here How, well, I, I've I just want to hear the story I'm yes, just gonna the sit story back and is, talk. is long but you know just bottom line I just give you a quick uh, understanding why a lot of people coming from Russia um, to America is because uh, being Jewish in Russia has been a lot of discrimination uh, so I kind of want to compare like black in America. So Jewish, you know, in uh, in Russia is a lot of discrimination. And so a lot of Jewish people left Russia, different stages in life. There has been waves of Jewish people leaving uh, Russia. And my mom friends left Russia in 1975. There's people who tried to leave 85. And for whatever reason, either you, America didn't accept Russian or Russian people couldn't get out of Russia. So whatever reason, there was a waves of people leaving. But at these days, I bet you there are very few Jewish people you can find living in Russia. Yeah. So you're Jewish? I'm Jewish. Okay. But again, that's another funny thing about being Jewish coming to America. First, when I came to America, people asked me what my nationality is. I told them I'm Jewish. And they were like, no, that's religion. That's not a nationality. And, yeah. I'm, like, okay. and I'm like, no, that's nationality. And I'll tell you why. Because in my passport, in the Russian passport, my nationality said, Jewish. Really? Yes, and that's another way how it was discriminated. Because okay. see in America everybody's passport, you're an American. Right. It doesn't matter. But yeah. in Russia, you can be a Russian and my nationality was Jewish. Really? And so that's how I grew up, knowing that my nationality is Jewish. And uh, and it is Jew being Jewish a lot to do with just not being just religion. It's a lot of culture. So there is a lot of different waves of Judaism too, you know, there is Ashkenazi and whatever, I'm not going into that. So we were not practicing Jew. Because also the time when I was growing up, uh, it was very country, uh, was very against religion, very atheistic country. And so they didn't allow people to practice religion. Okay. And so, yeah, I grew up not practicing religion. But so, my parents, my grandparents uh, were practicing Judaism. So, yeah. Okay. So did you come over by yourself or no. with your family? Or? So it's also not that easy to come to America. So it yeah. has to be like some kind of uniting of a family. And besides that, you've been Jewish and discriminated and you're looking for, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, just basically peace. Um, so um, my brother married his wife 
my brother's wife had relatives in uh, America for like who lived there for 30 years. Okay. So she first left, then my brother left, and followed my brother a year later, I came with my parents. Okay. It's uh, and we first moved to Denver, Colorado. Okay. And um, after that, we moved to San Diego. So we've been. Uh, I lived in Colorado for ten years, and uh, hey, and then uh, we came to California. Okay. And so the main. You, uh, sorry. You've been the, in San Diego ever since. Yeah. So I think I've been in San Diego since 2014 or so, and I came to America in 1996. So 96 and 2014, I was in Colorado. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Very cool. Um, anything else you want to share about that? No, 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 Ukraine, yeah. Okay. So um, w let's talk about something that you're well known for, weight loss. Is that cool? Cool. Okay. So quick history, being a Jewish, grew up in a Jewish family, uh, Jewish moms, grandmothers, they uh, sign of wealth, it's a chubby baby. And so <laughs> it's like chubby babies, make sure well fed, you know, and so I grew up with my mom who wanna make sure that I ate well. And if, if at any point you refuse to eat, no, you're gonna eat and your plate gonna be clean. Yeah, you kinda grow up, in the, and, and another point I wanna make that in Russia growing up, uh, food was scarce, it's like you can't, uh, uh, it, it was not easy to put a, a food on a, on a table. Yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of was a lot of black market going on. Really? So my parents worked really hard to, to, to have a good you know, meat and uh, all kinds of different variety of food in the, in the house. And so they want to make sure that we will finish the plate. Nothing is wasted. Yeah, nice thing with space, number one. And number two, um, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, I grew up kind of uh, overweight all my life. Um, and uh, struggled with weight all my life. And uh, when I came to America, I thought to myself, no more. So were you overweight when you came here? For, <laughs> so, such a long, so, many, so many different stories. So I came to America. I know, that's why this is so interesting to me. <laughs> so I came to America, I, I, I was overweight. Uh, I wanna say. Like how overweight? So I was about um, 180 pounds, I think. How tall are you? 5'5". Uh, five, five. And then um, my brother was working at pizzeria. That was one of his first job in America. Oh yeah, free <laughs> pizza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, no, no joke. I was uh, eating pizza pretty much every other night, and All I could eat a whole diet. pizza by myself. Wow, which is, was disgusting looking back. And uh, yeah, and I gained another like I don't know twenty pounds in the matter of, like the first three months. And then I met my first serious boyfriend yeah. in America, who yeah. was also a chef because my first job in America was Red Lobster. Oh wow. Yeah, I was like working as a kitchen aide. And um, we all, I mean, almost everybody, everyone should work in a restaurant <laughs> or food service. You should. It, it, it makes your character better. So, yeah. And so that was another, like, he was cooking me meals and we would eat late at night and I would ball balloon to like uh, 240 pounds in the matter of my first year in America. So what, what was your weight height? Do you know, like, what was your... BMI? No, your top weight. What'd you get 240. to? 240. 240. 240, that okay. was like a wake-up call. It's like, sure. It's like, I can't continue growing. This well, what, is, what was the last draw? That my mom clothes, I was wearing my mom clothes, which was like size 24. That'll do it. <laughs> size, like, I usually was like 16, yeah. 18, and I was like, okay, this is my size. But when I got into size... 22, 24, my mom closed. I'm like, that's just, I can't, I can't no continue. More. Continue, keep stretching my clothes. Yeah. And was I, there a aha moment? Was there a day that you remember? I mean, there was, was a plenty there? of moments. <laughs> I mean, one of the moments that can, I always, I remember my dad who loves me unconditionally. And one day he told me like, Olga, your thigh look size of my both thighs, <laughs> something like this. And I was like, oh my God, if my dad tells me that, that I better, <laughs> this I is better, legit. Yeah, I better get me. I mean, I knew who I was, sure. but it's always like, I always was fun and I always never had a problem to find a boyfriend. <laughs> you know, I always was okay with my body. I never That's had good. a, yeah, I never had an issue with that, but I knew that this is not good. This is not healthy. This continued growing size is not good. So, yeah. So then what? What happened? How did then you Then I decided, you know, weight? I've gone through yo-yo diets all my life because yeah. all my life I was overweight. And so um, I've decided I need to do this right, you know. And so I hired a personal trainer at Colorado. In Colorado, I hired a personal trainer and I worked out with her three times a week. And then the rest of the times I did kind of do on my own. And um, I've learned a little bit of weights, about weights, and I lost like maybe 
20, 30 pounds with her, and then she quit the gym. And I was like, oh my God, I have so much more to go. What am mm -hmm, I going to do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, I didn't never took a time to learn. I mean, she showed me stuff and she did stuff with me and she was great, but I never actually paid attention. Just, oh, okay, well, wh whatever she says, I'll do whatever she says. And when she quit the gym and I was like, wh wh what am I going to do? Yeah. I don't know what to do. So what'd you do? <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? I actually started learning myself. I kind of, well, I think I mentioned to you about this book that was written by this Colorado author and I don't remember now the name of the book but it's basically kind of was like lose the weight in 90 days plan and it was like picture of uh, hundreds of people losing in 12 weeks weight and I thought to myself if all these people can do it in 12 weeks I should be 12 weeks seems reasonable yeah I thought to myself it's not like you know five days crash diet this diet right, you know right. I thought 12 weeks it seems reasonable you know, and so I started reading this, and it was such a reasonable way. It was really breaking down nutrition, macronutrients, and weight training, and cardio days. And I, and I like really follow it. And then, make a long story short, I was working out at this um, small gym, kind of like yours, mm -hmm. actually. It was owned by a family gym, and the lady who owned the gym. And by that point, I started doing um, a lot of. Um, uh, bike rides like 100 century rides and i started doing triathlons and i lost a bunch of weight by that time and at that point she said to me you know we're going to host a personal training here certification would you be interested to do it i said sure okay yeah and then she said oh and then we're going to host a spin certification would you be interested to do it sure and so i did that and then she gave me a spin class to teach she's like we need a spin instructor and i taught the class and everybody loved it and then she gave me like some of classes. Of course. Yeah. And then she gave me more classes to teach. And then how kind of, she threw me into this fitness industry. That so, is often so how So yeah, that's, that's how kind of I got into fitness industry. Because yeah, I started teaching all these classes. And people yeah. like loved it. And I was like, and at that time, I was working as accountant at the job from like eight to five. I was teaching classes like five to eight, eight to five, another job. And then after that, I would go to gym and try to work on my own fitness. Yeah. And I was like, I had like exhausting. Yeah. yeah. So, but you have a very strong work ethic. Yeah. Does that stem from your family? Yes, actually, yes. My mom for sure. My dad, yes, definitely. Yeah. I never thought about it, but I guess. Oh, yeah. it matters a lot. Yeah. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Looking back, yes, it's definitely from my parents' work ethics. Yeah. Yeah. And um, after that, when I moved to San Diego, um, um, I decided I'm not going to do accounting anymore. I'm going to go straight into fitness. So uh, I went and changed my <laughs> education into exercise science and I went and took another college degree. So now I have two degrees, accounting and exercise science. That's so awesome. And what I do, teach classes. <laughs> yes, you do. I Well, no, I, that's, that's not that uncommon. Yeah. So, um, so just to wrap up the weight loss, and I do want to open it up for questions. I've got a huge list of questions personally, but this actually came from several people. I didn't come up with oh, all these. Okay. I'm not, not going to Oh, good to lie. know. People will. Mm -hmm. people interested these are just from other trainers oh. so oh, okay, cool. they also have questions but so um so you dropped about 100 pounds and uh outside of your pregnancies because we can't count those and you've kept it off for how many years now so i'm 45 yes i started when i was uh 21 mm -hmm. um yeah so like, like around um close to 20 years or so how long somewhere. did it take you to lose the 100 pounds 100 like, pounds took me a year that's yeah. amazing. That yeah. is amazing. But I was super strict. Yeah. In all honesty, I was eating very clean diet. Yeah. Now, don't take example from me. I don't eat very clean. Back then, when I was focused on losing 100 pounds, well, I, I was super clean. There is a big difference between a weight loss phase of your life and a weight maintenance phase. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah. That's I just, yeah. just keep that in mind, yeah. you know. So I need to get back to the clean. The COVID-19 <laughs> is really not Oh, my way. gosh. Everyone's having a really hard <laughs> yeah. time social distancing yeah. from their refrigerators. Yeah. There's no question. So, yeah. Uh, and drinking, man. Yes. Drinking. <laughs> drinking. Eating. All oh, of it's, that. it's noon. I yeah. guess it's time for, yes. for my first beverage of the yes. day. It's yeah. It's not been great. Yeah. No, I know you're not, you're not alone. So, um, I want to open it up to see if anyone has any questions before we move on to our next topic, just specifically or specific to Olga's weight loss journey. So Jess has joined us, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Hi guys. Good morning. <laughs> and Jess was like you, by the way. She, I mean, a, a lot of our trainers kind of go through that same journey. Um, like when we ask, like, how did you start in fitness? A lot of them have a similar story. Like they were working out at a gym. They were trying to better their own lives. Um, they were trying to get healthy. And then 
um, the owner or manager of the gym saw something special in that person and asked them if they had an interest in teaching. And then next thing you know, they're on the class class schedule a few times. So yes. anyhow, um, Sandy's here to help. So if you see a tail kind of pop up through the camera yeah Yeah. anyways okay jess do you have any questions that are that you're seeing that are specific to to olga's weight loss while just looking i just want to make it on a side note that uh also my first trainer who trained me um she was also a recovering drug addict so i feel like it's always the best those people are the best who you know they had their own journey and they recovered and they can Empathize. Yeah, empathize, yeah. transform other people, give them good advice. So yeah, definitely I see this a lot in the industry where people like used to be overweight, became trainers. Absolutely. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely it de- the best way to go. Definitely helps. So okay. So maybe not completely specific to your weight loss journey. There hasn't come, but they're all curious of what your workout routine is. So varying degrees, Andrew in Scotland obviously asked Andrew. what your sculpt schedule is, whereas other people like Jennifer in Colorado has said, what do you do? So one is specific, how much, how many days a week do you sculpt? So let's do that one first. Do you do weightlifting in general? Okay, so back in the days when I wasn't teaching 3,000 classes a day. <laughs> That's where uh, it gets tricky because... yeah. I used to have a routine where I used to lift three times a week and did cardio three times a week. And one time a week, I used to do like just a yoga, Pilates kind of recovery, easy day. But these days, I teach so many classes that I honestly don't do anything else. I wish I would, but I don't. And I usually teach throughout the day different type of classes. So mm-hmm. I usually will teach, like, say, one spin class one hit class, one um, sculpt class. So I end up hitting all kinds of variety throughout the day. So, um, and it usually- All week all, long. <laughs> yes, and all week long, pretty much. And all my sculpt classes I try to base kind of like interval, kind of like hit classes where I do a little bit of cardio, a little bit of weight. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's the best way to burn um, calories. Overall. The, yeah, overall and the best Spin way to sculpt. sculpt. baby. Yes, <laughs> yes. So now one came in, now that you're talking about calories, Kelly Dawn, which I'm not, I can't remember where she's from. I just asked her, but we'll wait and see what she says. She's asking if you can discuss calories and do you calculate, sorry, the screen moved. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just thinking like it's such a tricky question, counting calories, but okay. Right. She's just saying, do you calculate what's appropriate for weight loss versus maintenance or do you factor in your activity level? What, what do you think okay. about? Okay. So personally, now, personally, and, personally me, oh, now. Okay, so versus where I used to, um, uh, when I tried to lose weight, like I mentioned, I was eating super clean. So I never really was a good person to count calories. I'm just not good at this. All I concern is to have a healthy protein, healthy carb, uh, fruits and vegetables throughout the day. You know, that's always been my main goal. So I always just think in the back of my mind, portion sizes and uh, have a good, you know, size breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe some small snacks in between. That's all. Uh, never really focus on, oh my God, I ate that many calories. For curiosity, you know, I did a few times in my life where I count calories and see, oh, how many calories I ate today, how many calories. Just so you have an yeah, idea. Yeah, so have an idea. Yeah. And it's interesting. How I, it's a good idea to do that because yeah, you will be surprised how small things adds up. You know, you think, oh, apple is just like, oh, just 50 calories or so and so. But no, maybe it's a 100 calorie apple or banana or, you know, and just so it's a good idea to count calories and definitely take into account how much activity level um, you have going on in your life. You know, obviously, I'm a very active person, and so I'm not super strict right now with mm-hmm. my diet. It fluctuates how many cal- uh, how many um Workout uh, workouts doing. a day yeah. yeah i've done but um yeah i would definitely recommend um there is a plenty of good apps out there um i personally use my fit my fitness pal yeah my yeah. fitness was super easy yeah. so many um uh, already meals in there uh that we normally eat and um yeah it's a good idea to count um, i think i always tell people that it's a good idea just to know like i don't think it's good to obsess yes. over counting calories um especially if you're you're busy Um, And it can actually backfire on you sometimes if you're obsessive about it. But a lot of people have no idea. Which brings me to the great point, which uh, when I was trying to lose weight, and now it bothers me when I hear people say, um, to lose weight, 
just be more active, eat less, move more, mm. eat less, move more, eat less. I, it's also about the I yeah, I things. feel like you need to educate yourself because a lot of people have no idea. Yeah. What does it mean eat less? Do I need to starve myself? Never. You mm-hmm. shouldn't be starving yourself. So it, it takes a while to learn. Like I always educate people, like uh, make a healthy choices. What is healthy? You know, brown rice versus white rice, white bread versus, mm-hmm. you know, flaxseed bread or something, low carb bread, uh, whatever they're out there. Yeah. So it's always a healthier choice to whatever you like. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to starve yourself, necessarily have to cut all the carbs out of your life. You know, yeah. you just have to make a healthy choices, you know? Yeah. One time someone told me like, gosh, I don't, I don't understand. Like I ate, um, two cups of blueberries <laughs> and two bananas today. And that's kind of what I've been doing every day. And I'm like, and I've done those diets too. I yeah. have in my life. When and I'm I just, just, I've gone like on the fruit diet. Yeah. And I'm like, why am I not losing weight? I mean, the only fruit, what's going on? And so all this like sugar. sugar. Right. It's like all, I, now I know. But back in this, like I said, oh, eat less, move yeah. more. And I'm thinking like, oh, I'll just eat fruit. And yeah. I'm, if you're eating other things, yeah. like, you know, uh, Miriam, one time, her, one of her quotes was, I've never seen someone, um, and she did say get fat with just eating too much fruit. Yeah. But I mean, that's assuming you're eating other things yeah. as well. Um, yeah. Not just fruit. I was like, well, do you know a serving of blueberries is not a full cup? It's definitely not yeah. two cups and two bananas is a lot. That's a lot of carbs. Or even like, almonds. You know, we grab a handful of nuts and how nuts are um, good fat, but like how much, you know, th- those things you need to learn. You that's know, that's the required. problem with a lot of clean diets, yeah. with the quote unquote yeah. clean diets. And yeah. I, I won't name any specific programs, but yeah. um, I have seen people on those um, programs, the clean programs that have way too much fat in their diet. And then it first they see a significant amount of weight loss. And then after 30, 60 days, Days, all of a sudden they start packing yeah. on the pounds because totally. their diet is so heavy in fats and all they're doing yeah. is grabbing and that's another pounds. thing i'm a very big uh, supporter of like just healthy learn how to eat healthy don't mm-hmm. go on a diet you know let's not do diet let's just learn to eat healthy yeah exactly <laughs> and you know meeting with a nutritionist yeah. uh, well okay a registered dietitian actually yeah. is better but yeah okay all right very cool um can i can i ask a fun like a yes, fun question please. fun Ma- but fun. Madonna. Madonna. I love Madonna. Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story. I'll tell Can't you wait. the story. In Russia, when we grew up, it was not much of an MTV. It was not. It was like three channels on TV, you know. And then one night, I stayed up late, and there was MTV on, and there was Madonna Blonde Ambition concert on. Dang. I had no idea who she I had no idea who she is, and I watched it. And I was Mesmerized. Like, mesmerized. <laughs> And I was like, I want to be who? her. I want like, I'm like, who is this? I want to say I was maybe like 12 or 14, somewhere around that. And I was like, who is that girl? I mean, she was so innovative, that, so, so different amazing. from anything I've seen. And so then, ballsy. Yeah, so ballsy, <laughs> exactly. And I just followed her career. And yeah. I just realized that somebody who came to New York with $30 in the pocket, I'm already admire her for that. So anybody who you like... You can relate. Yeah, yeah, somebody to me who... Um, like Oprah or Madonna, somebody yeah. who come from nothing yeah. and become this mega stars, to me is like, wow, that yeah. is amazing. I love her music. I love how innovative she is and how always evolving she is. She's has so many different styles of music, always changing. And what an amazing athlete she is. I've, she absolutely I've is. gone to her five concerts, and this is somebody who's jump roping two hours in the stage. Yep. I mean, I'm like... She is, no, she is an I'm athlete. Sure. You know who serious? else? I've yeah. seen her jump roping on a stage for like at least an hour. Her calves. I'm telling uh. <laughs> I am telling you, she is an amazing athlete. Yeah. You know, this is somebody who is working out. No, although this day she's in the crutches and I feel bad for her. Oh, really? She has a well, um, she's knee not issue. Not young yeah. anymore. No, she's not. She's amazing. But and she's at been every jumping through her life, you know, a lot. So, yeah. You know, um, she's not been kind to her knees. Pink is very similar yes i love pink too yeah she kind of has a similar sound but pink actually. i grew a pink grew on me you know yeah. i at first she grew on me too yeah yeah i, did. I didn't like her before yeah. brian yeah uh and yeah then brian just like socks it to you like yeah. love he's it like, take excuse it excuse yeah. me yeah like, that's my girl yeah, yeah she's pink amazing. grew on me yeah. but now i love her i think she's amazing i mean you know sometimes you know the same goes for Christina Aguilera and I'm like totally going in different ways and Britney Spears they come in from the Disney club and all this pop, different, pop different. stars and like la, la, la. Yeah, pink I don't like those basic songs but yeah. when I started listening to Christina Aguilera uh, album Stripped her album is like 
oh my god that's an artist you know she so is I, so I love when you see an artist somebody something different not yeah. like a three accord songs you know like pop up you know yeah like, yep. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love like i love the so talent much, to see that amazing well, voice and the amazing talent and songs writing is like wow you know you know who else like Beyonce like a Beyonce lot of people too. think she's just known for how beautiful she is and oh yeah my she's great gosh yes. like but the, she so actually has an incredible incredible Amy Winehouse voice. I mean oh, I was just listening to I, Amy Winehouse yeah, radio me yesterday. too I was driving here and was listening to my, Amy Winehouse I'm like I love other people besides Madonna Madonna is not the only one in but my heart. She's I have like, a, I have a yeah. plenty of uh, other. do you do you ever have any spin classes that don't have a Madonna song yes yeah yes. she did a few lives that yeah, they did yeah. yeah I mean plenty of my playlist and people think that I put Madonna and everything. No, 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 I talk about her a lot. Yeah, I love her. But what if you could only listen to one artist for the rest of your life? It would be Madonna. <laughs> no hesitation. I, I love say, it. I have to say honestly, just like recently. I love that you know that answer. Like, yeah, recently I was. I want to try. You know, I'm trying to do more running because I know running kicks my butt, and uh, I tried different artists to play. I put a Madonna song. And I all of a sudden, out. she's like, Shoo. I'm like, Madonna <laughs> gets me in the mood. I'm that's like, great. What can I do? Well, you know, what's cool is that you know that and that you yes. can just turn. I mean, I think that's a great thing. We're, we all probably have different artists that will it's inspire so us and figure out who your your artists yeah. are and put that radio on. And I love using um, tools like Spotify, because if you put in Madonna, it can introduce you to yeah. other right. artists too, yeah. similar. And you'd be like, wow, I do that too. Um, OK, cool. Um, you go, you go. So um, there's quite a few that are kind of on the same trail, but Laura in Northern California, (laughs) she's asking, which I mean, I myself would kind of like to know this question as well. When you've lost so much weight, have you had to try and focus areas and tighten that area up? Or has it been, do you have excess skin? Like, is it, what have you, especially as we get older, it's a lot harder, that elasticity and and integrity pop babies of our out. You know what's really funny? <laughs> so I was looking to YouTube videos yesterday and Studio Sweat on Demand. Yeah. And I found the old video of us talking about tightening the skin after weight mm-hmm. loss with Daniela, who was like two years older. My tiny arm. baby. Yeah, it's like hilarious. But I, and back then I said that, and I say it again. I strong believer is you will have less loose skin if you do weightlifting. It helps a lot. But again, it depends on the age. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, what 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 forty third yeah. birthday she just had? It's it's, it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> age yeah. DNA. Yeah, age DNA. A lot of things involved in that. But because Your I was skin, my still like, younger, I don't have as much. I still have plenty of loose skin, but not as much as I've seen. I've had clients myself. Yeah, what I've trained and they lost over hundred pounds. And one girl was I want to say thirty something, mm-hmm. and one lady was fifty uh, something, mm-hmm. and the fifty something lady uh, had a lot of loose skin yeah. versus the girl who's younger. She didn't. Her and elasticity then, is better though. When plus, you're younger, I've usually. noticed a lot of people that I've seen in, uh, in the industry who lost a lot of weight just by dieting and not doing like workouts. So you Boom. have to, yeah. So you definitely have to work out. That's your answer. So then, That's with that, would you say? It's like, oh, do core. Or is it like, gosh, do some squats. Are you saying like... I do total muscle, body workouts yeah. all the time. There is no spot. Burpees. No, burpees my favorite. <laughs> no spot, um, no spot, spot reduction, training. no spot yeah. tightening for sure. When I lost my weight, it's a funny fact that not many people realize or know, unless you lost the weight yourself. I used to have 30 DDs. I used to have size 10 shoes. I have now eight and a half size shoes and I have barely B's. Wow. There is a fat tissue. My point is everywhere, you know, and once yeah, you lose, you, you can't just like, <clears throat> oh, people come mm-hmm. to me. Can I just lose the fat right, right here? here? Right and here. can I lose just this fat right here? No, 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 no. You're going to lose the fat. Where it's going it to go off. everywhere. Some people differently. Uh, and and different at different stages in your life. And, and, and your body's just going to do with fat what your yeah. body's going to yeah. do. You can't tell it without sucking yeah. it out. Yeah. You can't just do a hundred ab crunches and just see six pack if it's layer over the fat you gotta reduce the fat yeah and you'll see those six we back. have a good vlog on this so yeah. i mean i don't think we need to spend too much time on this just look go into trainer tip videos and and do a search for spot reduction or something similar because olga's spot on you can't tell spot on yeah <laughs> you can't tell the fat where to go but what you can do is is you can tone up the muscle underneath it so that when it shows <laughs> or even when it's under the fat that it's more solid and is going to look better which i think is you know what most people but are. But I do have a loose skin. After. I'm not going to show you. 
<laughs> well, you can, I mean, I feel like you can't lose 100 pounds. And yeah, without having a loose skin. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. What, what I've suggested to Absolutely. people is that, you know, and, and um, I've just seen it in experience is that lose the weight, tone up, continue to tone up, keep working on your strength, keep pumping up your muscles, stretch, because if you stretch that fascia, you're going to give the muscle a little bit more room to expand. Give it some time to regain its elasticity. Give it a year or so. And then if you're not seeing the results that you're looking for, then maybe you step in or you, you go to get some outside help, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, if because you want to. But some Miriam to. had a great um, yeah. blog on it too. Just love your body. I think I always very contact in my body. I love myself. One fun fact about me. Um, we love you. <laughs> that comes through. Yeah. And everything you. you do. For Thank sure. you. That's the, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's fine. You know, I look. As long as, as you're a, healthy. Exactly. Yeah, I was just going to say. And you Some people good. struggling yeah. and battling serious illnesses. Yeah. And we are healthy. We are. So once I, like, sometimes I'm thinking like, oh, I wish I would be a little bit taller. Boobs a little bit bigger. You know, forget it. It's just. It's all good. You're healthy. Yes, you look good. It's all good. You feel yes, good. Yes. And we're perfectly imperfect. Yes. As, as cliche yeah. as it sounds, it truly just, you know, just do your best to be healthy and feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. That's all. I love it. Yeah. Do you want to go again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm waiting for Rhonda to tell me where she's from. Oh, but, Rhonda. Love Rhonda. She's okay. so cool. You know Rhonda. She's so sweet. <laughs> so she has a great question. She's asking, um, she's having a hard time getting her heart rate up and working hard. Uh, without wanting to feel like she's passing out or like just getting like she's not exerting herself too much. Do you have a suggestion on how she can? I honestly push seen this a lot with Andrew not getting his heart rate in a red zone and other people not getting a heart rate up. I honestly, the best way I personally would suggest is to get a stress test and find your true max heart rate. Um, and that way you really can adjust your heart rate monitor to true your max and true your uh, resting heart rate and, and work your zones accordingly. That's Be just it. It, it yeah. It's what you're seeing accurate. Like yeah. that's the number one thing. But the, the healthier you get, the harder definitely. it is yes they're we, definitely going to be harder like it's, please as, please we have millions of vlogs on this that's <laughs> this definitely topic, a good so. point that's definitely a good point yeah. yeah because i i i have a hard time like say in a spin class myself to get it to the red zone because i'm so fit and spinning but once i go running i know i'm like <gasps> yeah well, my, my my i go into red zone it seems like easy. i'm swimming yeah. so it depends <laughs> depends what you train for yeah. yeah if you change it up me you work out you might get a better uh, to pump it up your heart rate too. yeah yeah for sure. Yeah. And even that combination of like, people are always surprised when I move to the floor, at, like how my, and I'm doing those strength training exercises because I'm not built personally to do strength training. Naturally, I'm built to, I'm, I'm actually built <laughs> to run. I just don't do it very often. But so it's harder for me. Um, and my heart rate goes up a lot higher when I hit the floor than when, I, you know, I'm, yeah, that's interesting. I'm spinning. I can huh. work at the same intensity level, but my body's like, wait, what? <laughs> You're not, you squat. That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm going to. Yeah, interesting. So, okay. Um, does that, so, so Rhonda, was it Rhonda? From Chicago. Rhonda. From Chicago. Rhonda from Chicago. Definitely check out those other vlogs because there's a lot of detail on that. Um, but it's, it's almost like you said, like, be okay with your body. Like, same thing with it. I think you don't sometimes. Have to push yourself. Yeah. It, it, definitely listen to your body. That, definitely, if you feel like you're rate. going you to pass out. I feel like I wouldn't ever want someone to feel like if I'm not hitting the red, I'm not succeeding. You know, like. Correct. You know, for certain yeah. drills, you need to get um, to the point where you're, you know, you're working at your nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10, giving it your all, but don't pass out right. for crying out loud. Right. Like, it's too much, myself. too far. <laughs> like, we need you alive. Yeah. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay. Um, do you have another one, Jess? Yeah. I, I mean, I, they actually are sending in some pretty good ones. Okay. Um, Robin, I know, hopefully I didn't miss anything. I know I was a little late. Robin's asking, um, given how active you are, do you take rest days or do you take low intensity days of like a walk, a hike? I do. But my or rest just days, straight rest days. My rest days, they would be one spin class a day or something. <laughs> my rest day would be maybe. <laughs> you and Rebecca. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with Rebecca. It's hard. Oh, why? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> well, she does have a six pack that I'm trying to get. No. I mean, Olga, love your body. I know. I am loving my body and I'm okay with my two pack. But <laughs> Rebecca is my. It's not more like a, I'm not comparing myself to Rebecca. I'm more inspired by Rebecca. Totally. That's fair. You know, definitely Rebecca is my inspiration for sure. Next time. 
next to Madonna. So mm-hmm. Rebecca mm-hmm. would have pleased Madonna. to know Madonna. Someone Rebecca. says they hope that Madonna hears this and they can reach out I and you know. can have lunch with her someday. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my if God. any of you know Madonna or know how to but get I'll a hold tell you, of Madonna, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. I practice this. I practice this in my life many times. If I see Madonna. If you ever meet her, if I ever meet her, just try not to pee in your pants. Just <laughs> you know people tell me always life story. goals yeah people always tell me story. oh i saw so this this famous person this famous i've never seen anybody famous I'm like but god if you guys ever see madonna like up close personal and she walk in the street i'll be like <gasps> anyway um that's so cool. so what we was talking what was yeah, where, the question where were we where <laughs> yeah, were we sorry digress with madonna do you take rest days oh, right, oh yeah yes, do you have yes. like low intensity yeah days? so i do yeah i do like uh, like i said maybe like just one class a day would be yoga or pilates or spin like not three classes a day that would be my rest day are there, i always do some normal schedule there is never yeah there is never a day that i don't do anything that will make me really sluggish i don't enjoy like i would go for a walk a hike a bike ride I would so at something. least passive exercise yeah, yeah yeah but you don't take like completely complete day no so unless like it's a holiday and we're like family or if you're traveling or yeah, something yeah yeah something yeah. actually when i travel no, so I she probably does something in the airport huh i do too yeah you I, know why? I almost work out harder when i travel yes and you know why because you don't have to be anyway it's your leisure time people like it drives me crazy people say like oh i'm on vacation it's like no i want to work out yeah normally you know when i work and like i go i have a schedule i'm like oh mm-hmm, one place mm-hmm. another I'm on vacation. Oh, I can go take a three hours to work out. I yeah. don't have to be anywhere. I know. The, the travel day, I might not. Like, yeah. if, especially because, yeah. like, if you're going far yeah. and you're on a plane. Yeah. And, but then, yeah, I want yeah, like to work and out. And I like I like using, um, when I go places, I like using the different tools that yeah. are available. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't have a cable machine at home. Totally. I yeah. use free yeah. weights mostly. I so agree. I'll be like, ooh, cable. Let's do yeah. cable workout. Yeah. Ooh, beach. Yes. <laughs> We're working yes. on the beach. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, one thing that that reminded me of is the trainer tip video that you did the short one recently and I've always I, I always remember this I love that was like um well no this is something that Olga says and and for anyone looking for um their own weight loss journey or going through their own weight loss journey you said that you have to think of as a part-time job yeah Yes, exactly. Yes. So, so I'm not going to quote you. I'm clearly bad at it. So you, you say it. Um, yeah, but basically the way that's when I was trying to lose weight, when I got focused and delicated, I always told, I know I repeat myself, some people already heard, but I always um, told my friends and potential maybe boyfriends at the time, there is no date, there is no hanging out until I go to the gym. That just must happen first and then everything else. And that's when I, now these days when I have my own personal training clients, I tell them, this is your job. You got to take care of your body. They're like, oh, call me like, oh, I have this thing coming up and this coming up and I can't do the... You know, you got to make it priority. What's your priority? Your health is your priority. Nothing else should be matter. Everything else is secondary. I have a question. Yes. Just Um, one? (laughs) No, I have 18. She paused. Um, But, (laughs) well, okay. So I know a lot of people, and we've had this question come in many times. This is this is not a question specific to you, but I, I'd like your General, advice on it. No. So I since um, I'm a very opinionated person, this is true. She's candor <laughs> is her specialty. I will tell you that. Um, so it, it, I have people in my life that like, um, and I know we all do that. Always have excuses, and their excuses is I'm too busy, and I'm like, and I, in my head I'm like. I literally just have to walk away like because I get so upset because I'm like, you're too busy. I'm like, look, don't even talk to me. Like I I, I work just as many. And the people that say, oh, you work out for a living. I mean, Jess, you know, like I work 70 hours a week. 67 of them are not working out. Um, So I have the same problems that other people have. Sometimes I think of you and I'm trying to think of when you're working out. Yeah. And I know you like to get it done in the morning. I do. But I know sometimes our best work happens like work at desk work yes. in the morning yeah so i know it'd be hard to like step away it so i always be. think of you i'm like i wonder what cat's doing right now yeah. wow I, it's like she's working creepy out right i'm just kidding yeah, she's no, i'm just kidding when she wakes up no, no, i'm, I'm like oh, i'm gonna go for a run <laughs> cat's probably running yeah oh my god jess i love that that is so sweet okay for those people though like and, and they literally will say i'm just too busy i don't know when i could fit it in i'm like really because I, I i say bye bye Okay, here's what I think. Here's a little, honestly that what I, it actually is what I say. I can't. No, I can't it. honestly. Here's what I, the reason why I lost the weight is because you wake up one day and you realize that you gotta do this. 
there has been a, many times when my mom would say, I'll pay you to lose weight, you know, like do, yeah, I mean, at one point I was so large, yes, you know, <laughs> so yes, large. it's like do something. But it hurts your feelings. It's sure. partially her fault. Let's, br- let's bring this That's up. That's true. It's, a, it's a my parents' fault, but then at one point you stop blaming parents and yeah. you realize that you're putting food in your mouth and you should do something about it. So that, back to where I originally started, you know, and you come up with your own excuse, but what I've learned, and again, with my own personal clients, personal mm-hmm. training clients, I've realized you can't make anybody do anything. They have to be ready. You, they have to be. Like people. So Another thing, hard, another thing though. people I tell just, me all the time, like, oh, Olga, you got to be nicer. You got to be kinder. No. You got to be a little bit sweeter when you do your classes. <sighs> I've you been kind of evil in my classes Yeah, you, you're, such a, you're such a hard person, Baba. I feel like if a person is ready and they're ready to work out. You just and push them. Say, and yeah, you, and they yeah. say, give it to me. You know, and the person <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> and a person who is not ready, you can't make them. And if they I have know. these tons of excuses, you know, they one day they hopefully will realize and they'll come back to you. I and one so. day maybe they'll never that they will not never, never come. That's you yeah. you don't know. But it's like I You told, just wonder what's it gonna take sometimes? It takes sometimes for different people but different sometimes things. Sometimes it never does. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know. It's like hit rock bottom. That's why I feel like food Wait, addiction. What? It's like I was just say it's what? F- hit the rock bottom. Hit, oh, hit bo- the rock bottom. <laughs> I was like, Sorry. I thought you said something in Russian. Hit the rubber. And I was like, cool. I, I totally thought you were just... using that. <laughs> okay, Jesus. No, 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 no. Like, not like, this again. <laughs> not the hitting rock Just like when I first <laughs> moved here. I hate you all. <laughs> no, You're what making did, me cry. What did you say? But to be fair none of us understood that oh you didn't <laughs> no i thought you were speaking in russian also so i was like oh, oh I, see it's the okay and we're taking and you, you say, and you're saying why should i lose my accent hey that's why you didn't understand anything and you just no, i don't ever want along. You to lose i don't ever want you to lose well, your accent either like so you, we've been talking for 40 minutes that was the first thing that i went and really it's just because you said it so quickly okay so i forgot what i was going to say <laughs> hit rock bottom oh i know what I was going to say, here is what I was going to say. It's very important Sorry, what I was no, going I'm to say. Sorry, I know I'm just No, 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 let's get serious. What I was going to say, food addiction, yeah. I consider it to be as equal as an alcohol addiction, yeah. as a cigarette addiction, as a drug addiction. It's a serious addiction. People For sure. don't realize it's, it's, and I'm battling this addiction every single day. It never goes away. Every day I wake up and I'm getting very serious about like, Plan my meals. Think about what you're going to eat. You're going to go to the party. Don't overeat this. Think about where is there going to be healthy food choices. I sometimes give myself a break and I eat not healthy because yeah. I work out so much, but it doesn't give excuse that I'm not so good. So hey, I'm with you there, yeah. Olga. People, yeah. you know, a lot of people, I don't know if you know this, but they think like, I hear this other thing is like, oh, you're so lucky. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> luck has nothing to do with this. If you see my DNA, no, you see my family. Right, my too. My my dad is three hundred pounds. You know? That's yeah. it, it's not in my DNA. It's that we work hard and it's it, you, we get it done and we don't make excuses. And um, but and we then, also I, I I made myself uh, this is my job. So I actually step away from accounting and decide this is going to be my job. So uh, it's it's fun to work out. Well, for, you're for, always for, yeah, around like minded yeah, people too, yeah, which is really it's, helpful. It's fun to get paid for working out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, why not? if you're going to work out, you know, it is nice if you can get paid for it. But I love taking other people's yeah, classes yeah. too. Like oh, that's yeah, a lot of fun yeah. for me. But even even me, I I'm like you. I th- I think about my choices with food. I and I I struggle personally even with like i i love sweets and i want if i could eat like pancakes for breakfast every day i i would but i know that's not good for me um but i struggle with that sometimes too i do a lot and super quick on that point uh because it's such an addiction again Mm -hmm. i used to smoke by the way i don't know if many people know i used Mm -hmm. to smoke did not know that yeah and so like just with smoking just like with food I tell people, like, you have to make a decision. You have to make up. And sometimes it takes many tries. Mm-hmm. It's like breaking up with your boyfriend. Sometimes it makes many tries back and forth. Oh, but I wish you would have worked with me in the ER. You have the same mentality. And I just like, you have to stop. You have to make a I've choice. I've been told the same thing by police officers. That yeah. should be working in police. Yeah, just like you have to make it. It's a choice. It's a choice. It is. A lot of to do with a choice, but it takes sometimes uh, to get ready, get focused. and you have to fall and, down. and you can't make anybody do it. So yeah, yeah. those people who make excuses, mm-hmm. they need to realize on their own. I know. Yeah. I just wish. I yeah. wish I could like just... Yeah. Yeah, I Flick know. them in. <laughs> yeah. You can Wake just up. tell them, let me know when you're ready to get yes, serious. Exactly. And I have actually done in my career yeah. times where yeah, I would train someone and they're giggling the whole time or chit-chatting the whole time. And I'm like, 
Call me when you're ready. As trainers, we don't have time to yeah, train yeah. people that aren't I ready. I can't like I deal agree. with this constant well, chit-chatting. You didn't want an hour of gossip? <laughs> <laughs> I fired training clients before. For I, yeah. I said, you're not ready. Like yeah. you're, you're not ready. Ten, come back. I'm too busy. Like, and, uh, I need someone who's going to take this And just seriously. really quick, I like the gossip. That girl became my best friend, but I never trained her. <laughs> <laughs> you got one. But dang, yeah. happy hour was fun. Like happy hour. Yeah, but I don't train her. <laughs> she drives me crazy. Okay, I have more questions, but if you have more, Jess. Um, just one along with it. Have you just, when you don't take rest days and you work out every day, basically, do you ever have an injury? I luckily had, had only one, one injury that I can think of last summer. I had an IT band mm. problem, which was so weird. I had this pain, excruciating pain on my IT band. I've never had in my life anything like this. And it's like came all of a sudden at that point, I was stretching I was and I was foam rolling and I was doing everything. And I was like, I don't know, it's not going away. I went to the doctor and doctor kind of laughed at me. He's like, yeah, it's fine. It's happened to a lot of athletes. You fine. You go. Yeah. He was a sports It's just going to take time. Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's going to take time. I was like, I need drugs. <laughs> no, you don't understand. <laughs> yeah, because I, I really, I didn't sleep at night. I slept with oh. the ice pack. It was bad. Wow. And he's like, yeah, it's just overused and um, it's going to go. And it did. It took a good two months. What, did. did you did you uh, rest more? Did I you asked, ice? Did I rest? You? And he's like, no, you don't need to rest. I'm like, really? I happened to go on vacation to Lake Tahoe and end up like taking time off. Did not help. I still got a pain. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, maybe that will help. No. So yeah, it took a little, just a little bit of time. I still worked out like a little bit lighter. And in what do you think of um, the medical professionals out there that um, will tell you um, you can't work out? Like, uh, let's say you break a finger and they say oh, you can't. I think, out. yeah, it really like, depends on the injury. Yeah, if somebody says that, like, it's fine. It happens because all the time, though. Doctor, uh, a lot of medical professionals will, will advise their clients, um, well, you know, you just take two weeks off. And I'm like, and I have a really struggle with this because I'm like, they broke their toe. Yeah, Why can't weird. they do a bicep curl? Like, yeah, <laughs> what yeah can't, I'm surprised you know? by that. I went. And I worked out throughout my whole pregnancy and at my high intensity interval training classes. And I go to my OBGYN and I said, doctor, do you think I should slow down on my working out? She's like, no, you're fine. You've been working out all your life, you're fine. Yeah. I'm like, doctor, you don't understand. I really work out hard yeah. this, right? Like, no, wait, you don't understand. <laughs> and we're like, looking for an excuse yeah, then. And she's, like, and she's like, no, you're fine. I'm like, okay, I'm going back to jumping my, jump in my yeah, high steps, it's fine. Yeah. They've completely um, yeah. and changed. I, I, I did fine, yeah. I, 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 didn't have, came, yeah. I didn't come across to many doctors who told me not to work out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, but I guess you have to like, if you have a sports injury, go to sports medicine doctor. Yeah. I obviously go specifically to the doctor. They probably would know better what to do specifically for your injury. But generally, yeah, I would recommend, um, you know, work out. Yeah. <laughs> there is no excuses, <laughs> really. As you have learned when it comes to the yeah. organator, there are no And excuses. I honestly, I've been struggling with back uh, problems oh, uh, for worst. a long time. And there is no specific injury. I think that's a really um, um, a genetic because my mom just had a back surgery and she struggled with the back all her life. And so when my back goes out, it's uh, kind of like, uh, and it uh, goes out for like, I take a break for like a day or two and mm -hmm. it goes back to normal. I go back to working out and I feel so much better. I, was I actually just... feel worse when I'm sitting and doing nothing. Yes. I've learned sitting is the worst. Yeah. So when I'm moving, I feel so much better. If I sit like this for an hour or two, I'm actually going to get up and I'm going to feel tightness in my back. Mm -hmm. so, I got to stand. I got one yeah. of those desks because yeah. I do spend so much time. Yeah, that's um, the best. Oh, it's awesome. Like I push a button. It's like a car. It has like two settings. And so I just push a button and it goes to my set stand up <laughs> setting. I push another button and it drops down yeah. to my seated and the best thing for me is to do some of both yeah. like a combination yeah. of both a lot of people get a stand-up desk and they think <laughs> we did the series remember eric but they think okay i'm just gonna try standing all day and then their back is yeah. like oh yeah from a little bit combination you gotta ease it you gotta ease yeah. your way into it so okay um if you <laughs> oh no i'm gonna go to this one what's one of the funniest things that your daughters olga has two well, you tell us about your daughters, their names, their uh, ages. Their uh, people on the Facebook met. <laughs> yeah. My daughter, Daniela, who used to she fill my bombs. classes. Yeah. Daniela. Nine uh, years old. And mm. my Yana is three, who is a firecracker, who is hilarious. It's always the youngest. She wouldn't even man. talk to me the first time. She just looked Yana? at me. Like, literally, Yana? like, looked but at me. Yes, she actually, she's like, opened up a lot more now. She used to be like, ah, 
stranger. Now she walks into the room and she's like, she owns hi, it. my name is Yana. I'm three years old. What? He's like, yeah, she's like totally a social butterfly now. It's just so interesting how she came from between two and three. She's just like changed. Yeah. yeah. So Yana, um, tell me about that name. Oh, that's... Because I know, I remember when you were pregnant, we talked names and yeah. you're like, I really want to name her Yana, but I'm thinking Michelle or like you came yeah, up yeah, with yeah, something yeah, like, yeah. maybe I should just name her like yeah, a typical yeah. like, People, A name. couple of my friends gave me... And I was me like, a, no, you name her what you want to name yeah. her. Don't care what anybody yeah. else thinks. Well, in Jewish tradition, yes, back to Judaism, Jewish tradition, you have to name your children after your past uh, relatives. So my mom insists for me to name my children after grandfather and grandmother. It doesn't have to be specifically that name, uh, but at least close to it. Mm -hmm. So my grandfather, na Daniela, named after grandmother. My grandmother has a Jewish name. Dvorah starts with D. So I had to find a name that everybody liked with D. And uh, it starts with D. It doesn't have to be the same exactly. And my grandfather's name is Jacob, which is Yaakov, which is Yankel in Jewish, yeah. which is kind of Yana. Yeah, so it's, uh, and uh, my husband and uh, some other American friends that I have, they're like, this is a weird name, you know, like. I love it. Yeah. Your husband's American? Uh, yeah, but um, uh, yeah, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go with my guts. I'm going to name her Yana. I In your it. face. Did you answer the question of how you met your husband already? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, well, is that's it? a that's a very romantic story. I'm you curious I, to know? I'm curious. I, is I can tell you. Is there sarcasm? I can tell you. No, okay. yes. It's, it's, it is a sarcasm, but I met him on match.com. Uh, that's cool. Uh, it's very that gives you it works. Hope. Uh, that it gives people hope. hope. It doesn't work for everyone, but it works for a lot uh, of let people. Let me tell you something. It's, I have friends it's, that are married off of. It's really funny because match, uh, when I moved yeah. to America, I had a friend. Well, I still have her. She lives in Colorado. She was on match.com. And it was like way like 1998. And she was meeting all these socially awkward guys. And then she was going to mention Sociopaths. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's like, this is crazy. And I'm like, I never go on Match.com. This is like, I'm not doing this. Absolutely not. that's when not. you meet someone. Yeah. <laughs> but then like fast forward 15 years, I went on Match.com and met my lovely husband. Yeah. And he is amazing. He's a sweetheart. He is really amazing. I tell you, can I just tell you really quick why I fell in love with my husband on the first date? You know, Aww. he's such a gentleman. We've never met. He is. We've never met. He's like, we only spoke online. And I arrive on my car at the restaurant. And he meet Open me at door. the front and opened my yes. door. Right? And he Chivalry. pays for valet. Somebody who Take never met. Take cues, gentlemen. Uh, yes. yes. Chivalry. <laughs> Don't let it die. Brian does. Too. Yes. Uh, Jeff is just such Where's a gentleman. Where's he from originally? He's actually from here. Oh, okay. From he actually like lived in PB for like okay. 15 years. And so now he tells everybody right? that I took him to desert. You know, he wasn't <laughs> out here. Yeah. And now like he lives in desert. I'm like, we live in Rancho, but now it's not a desert. <laughs> and a house you can afford, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's amazing. People are saying they met their husbands on match or significant. Yes. And match then too. let me tell you, we went to Hawaii for our honeymoon. We stayed in a hotel and like we met like, Nine out of the ten couple were people who met and met their couple. online. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, what is happening? That's, honestly, like, I feel these like days it happens all the time. Now these days it's very. But I feel common. like it's like match, not Tinder or Bumble, typically. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even. Uh, those. I mean, I'm not saying that. Yeah, those are, those are <laughs> that's didn't how exist. Right <laughs> Which one, Bumble, <laughs> Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> what's the one where you can not show your like, face like what's there's there's one know. where you don't i would not never mind know. i think there's okay. a new one there is an app like where you don't <laughs> you're, you're not allowed to show your face you can only okay moving yeah. on digress digress yeah okay um do you uh this is always just looping in the on demanders a little bit our comrades out there what um uh, is one of the most memorable comments that you've seen one of the comrades make? Can you think of anything question. they've said to you? Or I'm I'm just like amazing. These people on uh, uh, comrades are amazing. They everybody's so kind and so mm -hmm. sweet and just I I just you know I just love reading the comments. Mm -hmm. I'm not always reply. I'm not good with it's, words. It's it's hard. Much. Well, because yeah. there's a lot. Too. Yeah, and I'm not good writing my husband is actually a writer i'm not a writer i can talk all day long but writing is not my thing yeah <laughs> and so um yeah but everybody just super sweet and super amazing i just no i don't i don't i don't think i have one that stands can you out. think of anything that someone i have to go through comments look <laughs> honestly it's, it's yeah. okay yeah. i just sometimes yeah. there's certain comments that stand yeah. out and 
I, th- I think those are, mm. those are pretty I mean, good. everybody like saying like, oh, Olga, you're amazing. You kick my butt. Of course, give me more, give me more. <laughs> yeah. <and so, laughs> well, that sounds yeah, like Britney yeah. Spears to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, I just love everybody. Just everybody's super sweet. Like never see any like bad comments. So. Well, yeah, we um, block those people. <laughs> Not to say anything bad that's, about yours. That was, that's that, why. That was rude. <laughs> that's why. No. <laughs> that's why I don't see any bad comments. <laughs> no. Well, no, I think everybody's so supportive. Yeah, and, super and I supportive. like um, the open communication and, and that's one of the things that I'm a huge fan of yeah. on the Comrade page yeah. and like uh, like that conversation that came up about yeah, like our I backdrops and stuff like that and yeah. as long as everybody's respectful yeah. that's where it's great and I think that you know and then you got 400 comments to reply and I'm like I don't get 400 comments well because you know what <laughs> I uh, you know what we put a lot I'm into like cat is a miss popular everybody uh, loves cat you know no, what it's, it's it just goes to show the support though. yes and yes and, uh, I, I was wanted just to but make yeah. sure that like people know, like we encourage conversation. We love your comments, yeah. and so just because, like, if I stand up for myself or you stand yeah. up for yourself with someone, if someone yeah. does say something, that's no, definitely. Hurtful, I love questions. I love when people are asking questions totally. about the heart rates and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, Jess, do you? Go, I, I got more, but I want you to go. You go no. while I pick my next one. Um, there's. It's mostly just chatter of everyone just saying how much they love you, Olga, Aww. or they have like a similar story or Aww. something like that. But I think that one thing that you're kind of touching on that they don't realize is that they say nice things about us, but when we go read it, how does it make you feel? Doesn't it make you feel like, heck yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be doing? Yes, like, or, absolutely. Or if you're like, oh, absolutely. it's a rainy, cloudy day up here, but yes, you absolutely. go read it and it's... People, I, I made we a joke. Need it too. I made a joke in my Facebook Live like, last, sure. last workout that I did, but when I read all these comments... <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it's like uh, that uh, Sally Field uh, Oscar. <laughs> they love me. They really love they me. They love me. Yeah, you know, that's, a, that's exactly how I feel when I read all the comments. It's like, you think sometimes you're tough, you're hard, you yell, you're this, you're that. And then like, oh, it's called people tough are, love. Yeah, people actually <laughs> respond to this and they're yeah. like, oh, they really understand that. And I don't, I mean, only the best of people. That's one thing that what people need to understand that like, I, focus on the well, when I'm personally with one-on-one with people like I always strict strict about the form and I always uh, you know um, <sighs> correct everybody on the form and people take it personally I'm like don't ever if you know me if you see me don't take it personally it's all coming from heart because I want to make sure you don't hurt yourself and have the best and safe workout so here we go I like uh, yeah, yeah I like it most of the time yeah most of the time <laughs> there is a clock most of the time <laughs> i'll never forget like i had just torn my rotator cuff and i was healing it and um i was in a class with you and we were doing kettlebell swings and you like got on my case i for, did like, no yeah, way because i used a oh heavy kettlebell How for everything me. except for that internal rotation really impinged my shoulder so i could only use like a lighter kettlebell for that and she's like nice little kettlebell cat <laughs> like, like what? i'm like what's it gonna be when it grows i'm up? like <laughs> olga impinged shoulder oh. there's stupidity and oh. like i like got on her <laughs> like, oh I input. don't remember. <laughs> so there's, you know, there's things like that. But um, I can go to Olga and say something like that and not even, I'd be like, Tch, listen. No, you know? and it's fine. Yeah, when they correct people form and they say to me quickly, like, oh, you know, I have this issue. And they're like, oh, that's cool. I but, do it too. Yeah, but yeah. if they don't, they're going to hear Or I'll me. ask like, why, so why are you choosing not to do this move? Mm-hmm. Like when, yeah. when I'm, yeah. you know, leading yeah. a class, you know, there's people that like to yeah. do all their own moves. Oh, that's a good way to say it. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm going to steal that. Why are yeah, you choosing yeah, to yeah, do? Yeah. yeah. And then next, I'll say next time, maybe if you give me heads up that you yeah. hurt your shoulder, I can give you I wish an people alternative. Would give us heads up, yeah. Yeah. For, for that exercise. Yeah. And, and maybe you listen to me or, or maybe you'll just do your own thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyways, that is frustrating to us instructors, by the way, when we are teaching a class and um, people don't follow like yes. what we're doing um, yes if you would think they will come to class because they trust your instructor your right. teacher you will teach them something yeah and then they don't do what you tell them to do it's like why are you here yeah in case you're wondering if it does bother us the it answer is us. yes like it does <laughs> i mean again if we but know, we get it if you yeah give us heads up that, yeah, that there's certain issues that yeah we absolutely get it but, but you, you should like for me what i always say is like well, okay well if it's your shoulder that's hurt then can i give you a modification that maybe allows you to still work your shoulder definitely um that doesn't hurt you you know give me the opportunity to do that so but anyways yeah. okay all right do you got another one jess just more comments again. okay this is a fun one if you could put up a phrase on a billboard what would that one phrase be 
oh my god like i said i'm not good at writing alternator uh, kick your butt <laughs> <laughs> oh wait boom. i didn't mean to feed it to boom. you she just got it <laughs> boom I yeah would, i mean that's what uh, i think of you or yeah. give it to me <laughs> give it to me <laughs> give it to me that's brian knows uh, she knows all of uh, brian knows all of your phrases so you know when i was in colorado and i was training people and i was leaving colorado all my clients um they wrote me this big card with my famous mm. uh, like phrase that i was amazed you say, you're fine <laughs> you're fine when i take your class you're, you're fine you're fine and i'm like i really oh, you're fine. fine i'm fine really i don't see that i don't realize that i and say I'm like, that i'm fine i'm mm-hmm. fine yes, really, I, I did not sullivan on <laughs> i don't i didn't realize that i say that that's interesting um that's interesting they pick up on things yeah. that we yeah. say yeah there and was, was a, surprised that, with the, that card i was like oh wow i really say that yeah. there was a comrade post i think I, my guess is andrew started it I, <laughs> i'm not sure but it was like um, comment below with your favorite. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you yes. remember That's that? A, I, no, it actually says somebody else, I think, started it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. and Andrea, the comments, who is your favorite trainer? That, that no, not know? that one. Oh. It was, what are some of your favorite trainer, trainer like, saying? Like quotes. Oh, quotes. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see that one. Oh, I'm sure you were quoted many times on there. Really? I think that cats, like, you were family and our family's tough. What's your family? What do you say? Something like that. We don't say can't in this family. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate when people say can't. You can say like yeah. I'm having trouble. Like same with my kids. Like growing up, like they'd say, That's "Mommy, good... I can't." No, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh. you can say I'm having trouble with this, you know. But don't tell me you can't. Yes, you know. And like, I can't not break yeah. the law yeah. is fine, yeah. or I can't, you know, like yeah. I can't break That's the a good law. One. Like, yeah, That's but a yeah, good I'm having trouble doing this or whatever. But don't tell me. Yeah. Can't and then they pick up the saying that I, I have a trouble doing it. They're gonna say this every 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 five seconds. Mom, I have a trouble doing this. I have a trouble doing this. Oh, well, keep trying. <laughs> Just keep trying. Just keep trying. Okay, Olga. Um, well, do you have any? Because we're at eleven, so we have to sign off here in a minute. See, it went by fast. Yes, right? it definitely did. I was a little nervous. It's just all blowing up. They're talking about maybe if we can eventually have restrictions lifted and have a swarm here. Everyone just wants oh, to hang yeah. out with us. Well, the plan. October. I get it. I mean, I. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, mean, I get <laughs> it. I mean, <laughs> that would be so nice. We're so fun. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> has anyone watched the show Shit's Creek? Like, I find I myself ch- like um, picking up the accent of um, Alexis and David. <laughs> Like she's, <laughs> if you don't watch the show Shit's Creek, like I've heard good things, but I haven't seen it. I love the humor in it. It's I actually you have to think get past you would the first couple episodes. Yeah, for sure. Like, well, you gotta those, give the well, characters time to develop. Yeah, because otherwise, the first uh, if we're I, talking about shows, I have to give a shout out to one of my favorite shows. Speaking of Russia, okay. there is a show on the Hulu right now that's called The Great. Olga the Great. No, just kidding. Oh, Olga, like, Olga the really? Great. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually my husband started saying that Olga the Great in my house. But um, no, it's about the <laughs> the emperor, his queen, em- emperor, 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 and empress from like 18th century, uh, Ekaterina the Great, and it's. The show cool. is the show is amazing. All right, production. What's so, it? It is called the Great. The Great, the great and Hulu. Yeah, check it out. But it's not one season. Olga is not. No, not okay, Olga yeah. the Great, but it's coming. Did you it's watch coming the, up soon. There was one on Netflix that was only four <laughs> parts. Um, about this girl. Oh, if you guys watch this, it was about a girl who was in um, what's the community um, in New York? Brooklyn. No, no, the. <sighs> Uh, oh, I the suffers. Jewish girl, yes. who are, uh, an Orthodox or something? An Orthodox. I saw one episode. It was really good. I wanted more. It looks sad. It, I no. want to be funny. No. I want to I wanna funny. I, I can't uh, watch anything sad anymore. I wouldn't say it was funny. Well, it's Schitt's Creek then. <laughs> okay. But or, an Orthodox was really good. I'll like, I actually learned a lot in it. But Schitt's Creek is funnier. And they're only 20 minute episodes. I, I don't like. Another shout out to the Jewish show. Yeah. Miss uh, Marvelous Miss Maison. Oh, oh, the best. The yeah. best. The My best. favorite is when she's on stage and there, um, she had to perform at a, a military event. And oh, yeah. they were singing as part. It was Christmas. And yeah. so they were singing yeah. Christmas carols. Yeah. And she has to go on stage. And yeah. she's Jewish. Oh, so yeah, she doesn't yeah. she know any of the Jewish. words. And she's like, walk Land. Like she, she's funny. she didn't know any Christmas songs. Oh, yeah. the thing with same with Marvelous Miss uh, Miss what, Marvelous Miss Maisel. Yeah, you you can't watch the. You have to get past like the first one or two because in the first two they they were making it very musical. I disagree uh, strongly. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is shocking. In the first episode, she is the girl in the wedding dress, give a speech in yeah. her own wedding. How hilarious is that? It's, no, I loved it. But for people who don't like musicals, they might be turned off. You, so yeah, so you might be turned I'm off. There's a lot of singing. musical in there. Where were they singing? Oh singers? yes, the first two episodes, they would stop and they would go into a few music, a uh, full musical really? skit. Really? Yes. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was way but back. But I then. fell in love with her. So oh, it's good. she is. She's the bomb. The yeah. best. That She's is good. like um, honestly love, probably my favorite show. I love talking about shows. I love talking about oh, movies. I, I love Clearly, talking about eleven oh three. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> okay. All right, um, Olga. Anything else you want to say to all your fans? out there and I love my fans and I love you all you guys are the best so much love all the time I want to tell you one last thing apparently you're talked about amongst co-workers and they just say that how important their fitness trainer is especially in this time that we're going through right now Mm -hmm. and how you and we have changed people's lives like just Uh, that should resonate yes yes that's yeah that's why we do what we do love it and love you all I really do. That's a great sign off. So with that said, we will be signing off. Thanks for joining us today, Olga. Thank you, Jess. All right. Happy Sunday. Thanks, guys. See ya.